Now, as you know, DNS is the most important service that we have to support Active Directory. Without DNS, you can't have Active Directory. So, we've gone through and we've looked at a whole bunch of different record types. We understand how all these components are going to work. Let's roll up our sleeves and actually install DNS. So, I'm going to bring up my machine here. And what we've done is we've gone in to Server Manager. And this is a fairly pristine machine. We haven't installed all the various services yet. In fact, you can see we don't have any roles installed, including DNS. Now remember, Active Directory requires DNS, but DNS doesn't require Active Directory. This particular machine is a standalone machine. It's not even a member of a domain. And yet we can use this to host our Active Directory DNS site, our secondary sites, whatever sites that we'd like to do. So let's go in and install it. And this is on the bottom of page 74. So we're going to go in, we're going to add a role. And this role that we're going to add is the DNS server. So here we go. Now normally, and we're going to show you this a little bit later, if this is going to be an Active Directory integrated zone, you have to have this as, an in, as a uh, domain controller. Now of course, we would want to install DNS as part of our Active Directory installation as well. That way we get the kind of the one-two punch. But here we're going to do a standalone machine says, hey, notice that uh, if you are going to do Active Directory Integrated, you got to be aware of this. You have to have that. So we're okay with that. And then we hit Install. So really, there's not a whole lot to this installation. It's essentially, do you want to install it? Okay, I want to install it. Let's go ahead and install it. I mean, it's really, really simple. And as you can see, real, real basic, it does have a little warning here. It says, oh, you're not doing automatic updates. Well, of course I'm not doing automatic updates. I don't want to do automatic updates on a production machine because what happens? All of a sudden, your machine that's been working really good, it's been lasting for a long time, then you get an update that blue screens your machine and kills it. I highly recommend that you do not do automatic updates. Now, don't take me wrong. I'm not saying don't do updates. I'm saying don't do automatic updates. You want to manually do your updates, maybe with a WSUS server, something like that, where you can control it so that you can test it. And that's also another reason why it's a good idea to do something like VMware, where you can go in, or maybe Hyper-V, which we talk about quite extensively in our applications and infrastructure class, where you can go in and you can maybe blow out a, uh, a backup of your system, test the service pack, see if it blows up anything that you may need, and then if it doesn't, hey, go ahead and just away you go. So we've gone in and we've installed DNS, so we'll go ahead and close down the wizard, and now it says we have DNS server set up for us.